here we have a Dell Venue 11 Pro. We're going to open it up and explore the insides. This is relatively pretty simple and there's not much you can do about it. So we're going to flip to the back and open the case. We'll push the button to remove the battery. There's a screw here. You probably can't see it. Sorry about the darkness. Um, that reveals a M.2 slot. It's intended for your network connectivity as 3G, 4G, <coughs> or you can actually put another M.2 hard drive in it. Not fit, but you must have a smaller one. So we're going to remove one screw to remove the hard drive. This is a M.2 hard drive at 60 millimeters long. We can just remove the antennas on the wireless card. And remove one screw holding it down. Just need to tilt it up slightly and take it out and it'll come off. This just show you that the other slot fits a, the hard drive fits in the other slot as well. So we're going to remove all the screws on the back to remove the back cover. You shouldn't need to go further than this as um, there isn't much left opening it up. There's nothing really behind it and nothing can really be accessed by going further than this point. We have to remove two tabs to reveal the cables underneath. You're going to have to remove the cables first before removing the back, co back cover as it's connected to the back cover. All the screws on the back cover are basically the same screw besides one. apologize once again for the video quality as due to the silver backing of the Dell Venue Pro it's reflecting the light to the camera and causing it to be dark There's one screw that's slightly different to all the rest on the, to remove the back cover. It's next to the SIM card slot. So now that we've removed all the screws, we're going to 
remove the back cover. I haven't shown here, but I forgot to remove the SIM card slot or the SD card slot. Remember to remove the SD card slot first before you continue. So you're going to have to pry the corner where the glass meets the plastic. For this case, you use your prying tool. I just used my fingers. Just go around the edge and it will start popping. I'm just removing the cable that's attached to the motherboard. It's somewhat easier to remove it when you remove the back cover as it gives you room to put your fingers in. And there's the SD card slot that I've got to remove. There's the van, the CPU is underneath, and the RAM is underneath that metal piece, which I will not be removing, as they sold it on. This is relatively pretty simple. There's no point going further than just removing the back cover, as everything else can be accessed by just removing the back cover. Please note that the hard drive is a M.2, and not your normal MSR, and that's basically it. Thanks for watching.